As a lot of you will know, using an external LTE antenna with a mobile internet router is a great advantage in a van to maintain a usable connection. But how do you know which one to use, as there are so many out there? Well, today we're going to be testing out the Maswell MIMO antenna to see how it performs. So keep watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. The Maswell antenna is available on Amazon in the UK for £119.99, which puts it kind of middle of the range. It works on both 4G and 5G, and it's completely weatherproof, allowing it to be permanently mounted outside. We were sent this item to test by Maswell, but they have no editorial control over what we say. And as always, we want to make sure that you have all the information to decide whether the product is right for you. Let's take a look at what is in the box. We've got some high quality, chunky cables, which will help to minimize signal loss with SMA connectors. There's hardware for mounting and some adapters to convert the SMA to TS9. We've got the antenna itself. Mounting instructions and the brackets. It can be surface mounted or pole mounted. For our simple test, we're just going to stand it on top of the roof so that we're just going to use the bracket to surface mount but without bolting it down. Touching the brackets and the cables is an easy task. We're going to be testing it with our Huawei B535232 router as it has two MIMO antenna connections which suit the antenna perfectly. And using our band locking hack, which you can find in the video up here, and in the video notes, we can check the signal on each band. First test we're going to do, we'll use the internal antenna on the router inside the van. We're currently in the south of France and the signal where we are isn't great. We'll speed up the test here and do a full summary at the end. But for the internal antennas, we struggled to get any signal on most bands and one gave us a very weak signal. Now let's try the same test with the Maswell antenna. As I said earlier, for this test we're just going to pop it through our skylight and stand it on the roof. We can see from the tech specs of the antenna that it's slightly directional, so we've pointed it towards the direction of the cell tower for the best signal. We'll connect it up to the router. And then after making sure the external antenna is selected in the settings, do the tests again. We'll whiz through, but you can probably see a much better performance. We'll show the details at the end. Regular viewers will know that a pointing MIMO 3 antenna is the antenna we usually use, and you may have caught a glimpse of it on the roof. So let's do a comparison with that. As with the Maswell, the pointing is also giving us connections and we're seeing reasonable performance, but how did they actually match up? Reference signal received power, RSRP, and reference signal received quality, RSRQ, are key measures of signal level and quality. Here's a rough guide of what they mean. And here are the results for when the router was set in auto, when locked to each band 1, 3, 20, 28, 32 and 38, and when we manually optimise the router to the best bands and we're showing the RSRP, RSRQ, download speed and upload speed. As you can see, both the Maswell and the pointing were able to give us connections where the router on its own couldn't, with the Maswell giving the best signal and the highest speed connection. So in conclusion, does that mean the Maswell is best? Well, if connection strength and speed is your priority, we would say yes. However, there are some things to consider. 
The Maswell is bigger than the pointing, and the fact that it's directional means that it has to be pointed towards the tower for its best signal, which the pointing doesn't. We would say the mounting options for the pointing are more flexible, robust, and it's more aesthetically pleasing than Maswell, but it's also more expensive. So, at the end of the day, only you can decide which is best for you. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.